Ethan from Gizpap here, just a quick demonstration of this new jig that I've made uh, on, on our 3D printer. Uh, the prototype finished last night, uh, a few people understand what it's for and obviously there's quite a few interested parties so uh, just a quick video demonstration just to sort of like talk you through how it's designed to work. So here we have the, we have the two halves of the jig, obviously we've got the, the male side and the female side. Um, and this particular one's designed to take an uh, inch and a quarter scheduled 10 cast stainless tubing um, as commonly found, well commonly used in fabrication of turbo manifolds and other bits and bobs. Um, so yeah, we have, a, we have the radius in here, it holds the, it's a bit loose, it's obviously depending on the brand of, of your tubing, sometimes a bit smaller, sometimes a bit bigger, so uh, it's a loose fit in there which uh, will cater for all it should cater for um, all different types. Um, so yeah, I mean, how we how this works is uh, we have your, your both halves here. You fit them together. Uh, you clamp this in your bandsaw at your desired angle. And then you use the edge here as uh, your cutting guide for your blade to line up against your blade so you, you've got your cut. Now, it's got a, it's got a little gap here. And that's so you know it, it, the the plastic actually clamps up against the the tube, rather than it just being being uh, sort of like loosely in there. Uh, but yeah, I've done a few test cuts this morning. Really happy with it. It works as intended. Uh, just got a few adjustments to make on the drawing for the next one. But yeah, how we intend to work this is um, there's no built-in angle gauge, so you will need uh, an angle finder. This is like a cheap. Uh, one off eBay, a couple of quid, does the job for what you need. Now what you do is, is you just need to find your angle. Now, we would suggest cutting up to 45 degree. Um, so if you wanted, if you wanted a 20 degree angle, you know, if you wanted a 20, 20 uh, well, no, sorry, if you wanted like a 70 degree cut, I mean, doing that's gonna be a bit fucking ridiculous. So obviously you'd work backwards. So if you wanted a 70 degree, if you wanted a 70 degree cut, you'd, you'd cut a 20 degree. If you wanted a 60 degree, you'd cut a 30 degree um, and so on um, but yeah you measure it from here so you, you get your angle rotate it as needed so what we've got there got about roughly about 30 degree angle there what you do is get a pen obviously put both halves on get a pen mark your cut go over to your bandsaw stick it in your vise line it up line that up Clamp it down. And that's it. Now, because of the because of the cut radius, um, it's not going to twist. Once that's clamped in there, obviously that's not a good example. But uh, once it's clamped in there, it's not going to rotate uh, around itself. So you're going to get a nice clean cut through the center line radius. So here's an example we've cut this morning. Um, ignore that notch there. I wasn't paying attention, so I actually cut off it. But yeah, you end up with a nice cut that's perfectly round and um, yeah it all it's quite nice so yeah we're looking at selling these for about 30 quid uh, made out of abs plastic they're pretty durable um, we will be doing uh one for inch and a half as well we're doing that over the weekend um, and we'll also be designing some tools to cut uh 1d bends to an half three inch with a leg um commonly known as dairy bends but you know you know what i mean um, so yeah, if you're interested, just drop us a message.